okay there is a conveyor here your ear also rocking is there that is mfs rocking okay and you can see conveyors here also and you can see the outbound staging area and the outbound even doors also then how do you map this warehouse in a real time environment okay how you are going to map in a ewm terminal now we are going to come to the ewm terminal okay you see the doors am i right you, you see the doors how i am going to convert i mean how i am going to map these doors in the ewm system okay how i am going to map this physical areas into ewm system okay if at all i want to capture in a ewm system for every physical area okay we call as a storage type okay so for example these are the doors all the doors you know entire door area i define as a storage type as a door there are certain rules for every storage type okay how system understand that whether it is a door whether it is inbound staging area whether it is a storage a main racking area or like you know so every storage type we have a certain uh, rules where we can define saying that okay this entire one is the doors okay the role is the doors okay the role itself is a door for example this is the outside area right this is a vehicle keeping but this is the ad this is the ad so if at all i want to keep even ad management in the warehouse so the entire physical ad that means the location where outside of warehouse you where the vehicles will enter and some time it it stays in the warehouse maybe like parking for a while so that is the entire the ad area okay the entire ad ad i want to capture as a physical area so you define as a storage type as a ad the role is also there is a ad is there in that okay so system understand that the based on the certain role what kind of storage type that mean we are capturing the physical area by defining this storage type okay now all the doors i define as a doors as a storage type as a door okay then each i have a several doors am right i have it almost i have a here is a seven doors so the seven doors i convert as a each store each um, door as i convert as a one bin okay door one as a one bin this is the one bin second bin door two as a third bin like this okay i will create as a total i have a seven doors here seven bin seven doors seven bins okay the storage type is a door the followed by the storage bins okay followed by the storage bin okay in a, i know that wm we use uh, uh, even the storage type and the section then is the bin bin is the lowest one generally but in a ewm system in a ewm uh, uh, different object as said like you know you don't need there is no mandatory like section is there is no mandatory in a section in a ewm system okay if required you can create a section but otherwise without section 99% we may not use much now section because we without section we can perform that unless business uh, demands you know you can go for section okay and but otherwise you don't need uh, a section in a ewm uh, uh, sap ewm okay storage type and uh, within the storage type so entire area as it is door is a physical area as a storage type as a door then each bit door as a one bin okay that's what i map so that is called the each door is a one bin and when you coming to the uh, even here okay this is a staging area this entire is a inbound staging area we discussed right inbound staging area okay if at all i want to understand the inbound staging is i should define i should capture this entire physical area as a inbound staging area by creating a storage type as inbound there is a rules behind that inbound staging area and uh, capture the physical to capture this entire physical area storage type as a staging area inbound staging area then followed by the a storage bin if at all you want to do some sections here certainly you can do the section for example i within this inbound okay i wanted this entire uh, inbound staging area this is the one section this is the second section okay and this section then followed by the bin that is also possible if at all you want to make a, a staging area um, storage type as a staging a staging area then followed by the section then followed by the bin okay and also i have i want to do after uh, uh, unloading staging here i want to do certain packing activities here packing activities then i need to capture this physical area also to capture this physical area then i should have a work center 
Remember any packaging, any physical activity, when you are doing unpacking and repacking, we, we, we need to call as a work center. How do, how do I know that? How do I know that is a work center? So based on the storage type role, each, as I said, door we have, inbound staging area we have. Similarly, we have a, a work center. It may be deconsolidation or it may be value-added service. So you need to capture this physical area as a storage type, then followed by the storage bin, then you can define a work center. What kind of work center? If we, are we using is a packing? Are we using deconsolidation? Okay, storage type followed by the storage bin. Similarly, here, racking area. So this is also one kind of, maybe I will draw a different color. This is also one kind of storage type. So maybe it's a racking one. As I said, generally I said pre-staging. Assume that pre-staging related one here. So you have to define the entire, uh, all the uh, area is called the storage type. It may be pre-stage area. Then you need to create that many bins. You can see almost 10,000, more than 1,000 bins here. Okay. So storage. So you may not create one bin because if it's easy to create one bin. But this one is your 10,000 bins. You know, we may not create a manual. What we do is we will uh, upload the, in the real time, we will uh, create a one template. We will populate every entire data. Then we upload into the data. Okay. We, we never create a single uh, uh, simple bins we create, but in a mass bins, you know, 10,000 or 15,000, even 1,000 more also, we will never create. Even, even 100 also may not create. Okay. We simply we upload the bins there. You through the template, we upload that. Okay, so the entire uh, racking area is a storage type and you capture the, all the bins. Okay, then we can see the each bin, what dimensions, everything, wh what kind of uh, uh, pallets you are going to keep. We'll, we'll come to the next pallet. Okay, I don't want to enter everything in one time. This is also a, a, a storage type. So you need to capture as a storage type. It's a high racking area. Okay, and uh, here is the MFS storage type. You need to capture storage type. And uh, there is a role also there. System, how is the system understand this MFS? So there is a role for every storage type. Okay. And here also, there is a, a location, see. Uh, here also. So you have to define here also one storage type. Otherwise, system won't run. So every physical location, you need to capture as a storage type. Okay. And followed by the storage bin. So that you understand that which storage type, whether inbound or doors or racking, main storage location or something else. Okay. He was similarly here also. Even conveyor also, you have to define as a storage type as a conveyor. Then you can define different uh, points as the bins, okay? Because we have a several locations, right? We can split into conveyors also like, you know, uh, pay, here is a dropping location. So like this, you know, several, several locations. Here also the different, different tracking is there. Uh, different conveyors are there. We can split uh, uh, several uh, conveyor points, okay, as a bins. Conveyor points as a bins, okay? We can do that. Okay, similar outbound staging area. So this is outbound staging area. So the here also outbound staging area you create as a storage type. You capture entire physical area and you create a maybe section. You means you can divide that sections. Okay, section one and section two and then followed by section one is the bin. You create the bin. Okay, bin. Okay, remember the main bins are the are the uh, storage lo storage uh, locations. Okay, the storage location means. The area you are keeping the products, you are keeping the handling. That's where it finally it says that. Here is more in the movement actually. Okay. Okay, you may see that how do such a complex, whereas these many movements, how you are going to perform such an easy way WM system.